Now, I, I've been looking around for a while, and I know usually the, the best stuff comes from the smaller places, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I found this guy, the, the place is called Neptune Aquatics. It's not actually a place, but it's a, you know, he sells it on some forums. I don't know what all forum site he bought, sells it on, but uh, I've been buying it from this fishforums.com. Or is that what it is? Turn on the laptop. And uh, anyways, it's, uh, it's this guy. They make all sorts of foods and stuff, and they're very high in quality. And they're actually really cheap, too. I mean, for what you get... And you buy, usually buy it by the pound. Uh, yeah, fishforms.com. And you buy it by the pound, and uh, it usually turns out to be better. Like, I have a few things here. W one of his biggest lines is called the Pleco, it's called Pleco Cane. And this thing is pretty much good for every fish you can think of. My Corys love it. I mean, my, my fish go for a feeding frenzy over this stuff. My Loaches love it. My Corys love it. Uh, you know, things like glowfish love it, my beta loves it, Siamese algae eater, even though they should be eating algae, but of course, you know, as they get older, uh, they like it, tetras, my tetras love it, uh, and, and, they, and it comes in many different sizes, so you can actually size it to what fish you have, like right here, I have two, three, and four, and uh, they're also for different stages of like a fish's age. So like four might be for an older fish, two might be for a younger fish. So they're, they're very well designed foods and I've got some nutritional facts on here. For, for this plecocaine stuff, it's 50% minimum protein. That's higher than any of these that I've talked about. And that, I mean, like by a lot. I mean the highest one so far is probably these flakes which at 42%. Uh, and the fat is at 17%. That is great for food. Uh, and the first ingredient is fish meal. Uh, not the best. It would be, you know, good to see something on this, like on this, where it's like whole salmon or something. Uh, goes to wheat flour. I mean, you, know, you do have to have, like, a little bit of, uh, you know, some kind of wheat or something product to obviously get it into, a, like, a pellet like this. Uh... Spray, spray dried animal blood cells, that's pretty much, hemo, I guess, hemoglobin. That's kind of weird. Fish oil, that's good. Uh, fish oil LS, I don't know what that means, but that, that's kind of like the first row. I, that's usually all, all you need to read. So, so it looks pretty good from uh, what I'm reading on there, and my fish love it. And then... Uh, also, he, he sells like some other different fish foods and they have different stats, you know, uh, that might be for different food. Like, like he has a number of specialized foods and that's really what I'm looking for is, you know, specialized foods. And uh, the algae wafers, he also sells algae wafers. Now, uh, for those of you that own auto sinkless catfish, you know how picky they are when it comes to prepared foods, basically anything but regular algae. This is the only thing I've ever seen my autos eat other than uh, organic uh, zucchini or English cucumbers. This is the only thing I've ever seen them eat, and they like it too. I'm highly surprised. As, so as soon as I saw the auto eat that, I, I mean, started eating this without it being in there a day, I knew it was good. Oh, and then the other thing is, these foods, you know, they, they stay in there a while. They don't deteriorate as fast as most factory foods. So, that's another important thing. You don't want it to deteriorate. The only place you want it deteriorating is in the fish's stomach, so. And then something else to go over in the diet is spur, spur eulinia. He's got this super spur eulinia flake, and it really is super, uh, to say the least. That kind of sounds cheesy. But, it's got a number of different little types of it in there. And, uh, really, it's the... Spirulina is almost like veggies for fish, except it's like good veggies because, you know, most fish are, car you know, a lot of the fish are, you know, might be carnivores, so it, it's still good for them. And it basically, spirulina is something that, uh, you know, most fish should have at least, you know, once or twice a week, maybe even three times. Uh, and it basically helps their digestive system. Uh, it's probably it's be especially useful for, like, goldfish and stuff. Uh, and it basically just helps them, you know, keep them from getting constipated, helps their digestive system, because yes, that kind of stuff does happen. So, 
I do suggesting feeding some kind of spirulinia. You can find that in stores, but I've never actually bought any like store brand spirulinia, so I've been getting it from this guy. And in fact, my cats like it, so I have to have it in like this is like triple. It's it's like in the bag it came in, in another Ziploc, in another Ziploc. Because even my cats try to eat this stuff. They love the smell of it. So good stuff fish eat fish and cat eat fish so they're really on the same diet so if they like it that's probably good for the fish too so uh, unfortunately I don't actually have all the nutritional facts for the algae wafers and the spirulinium on me also something else I forgot to put in here yes this video is gonna be long but as you're watching I'm sure you're realizing how uh, detailed this video is and, and how much information you can get I mean there's so much to go over when it comes to fish food anyways Something very, very important that's that's key that, that I really think I should mention in this video is variety in the diet. Fish do not eat the same thing. Uh, most fish don't eat the same thing every day, and even if they did eat the, you know, fish eat the same fish every day, there's differences. You know, when when it comes to buying these products like this, there's you know there's not really that that that, that difference. You know, it's this manufacturer prepare food, even if it's the best of it. So, it's something that I practically preach because almost, uh, I mean, e even, even some people don't, don't, you know, s some of the, you know, better fish keepers I've met don't understand that oh, fish don't like this staple diet crap, you know. Uh, I, I can understand having a staple, like, food, but... You, you know, it's really just something that you should feed maybe one extra day out of the week compared to another. You know, it, it really shouldn't be like a straight up staple as in the true meaning of it. Uh, you know, I, I, I have a huge variety for my fish. Like, like for instance, with my quarries, like, you know, I might feed this maybe one, maybe two days out of the week. And then they get, I have frozen, I have a bunch of different frozen foods in here. Uh... And, and, and I'll feed frozen foods maybe one to two days out of the week. And I mean, for, for, for my freshwater fish, I got like brine shrimp, blood worms, and myasis shrimp. That's what my fish like the most. Uh, so, so as you can see, there's, there's a lot of variety there. I mean, there's three different foods here. J j I mean, l let's just talk about my quarries for a second. There's three foods here. Got quarry food here, plus the leaf, the pleco cane, plus this. What's that, like at least five different foods for my quarries? So... Plus, there's actually a couple more foods I don't have that I don't have on this table that I feed them. But it's basically from this Neptune Aquatics guy. It's just some of his other smaller lines uh, of food that he sells. But so I give my fish a huge variety of the diet. They usually do not eat the same thing every day. And not to mention, you know, s s some of my fish will eat the. Uh, I made a video on this a long time ago. My uh, my cucumbers and zucchini. Of course, when you're if you're gonna go with either. Uh, make sure you go with the seedless, like, like for the cucumbers, I go with the English seedless ones. So, you know, I, I try to put variety in there. That's so important, trying to put variety in, in, in a fish's diet. Really, e even if you don't have the best foods, variety can really make the difference. So, uh, that, that, that's something that, that I, I really do preach. Of course, the better you, you feed your fish to, the better they'll look and the better they'll feel and the less problems you'll have of course because you'll have less problems with the water and uh, less problems you'll have with the fish so uh, and, and like I always tell people for instance with cats the more you spend on their food the more you spend on their diet the less you'll be spending at the vets so and it's pretty much the same with fish except you know you'll probably be spending less on fish because or at least medicine for your fish anyways there's just a little uh, you know, diet video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and please PM me. I do not like trying to do conversations over comments. And also, it's harder for me to keep track of it. So, you know, I, I know this is a general video, so there might be more specific questions you have. But, you know, generally speaking, you know, this should answer at least most of your qu questions about, oh, what fish foods should I get? So, I at least guided you brand-wise and told you what to look for uh, when buying them. All right? So, if you've got a question, PM me. Thanks for tuning in.